Hi, it's Stacy with Families with Grace, and today I am talking about getting spiritual in the bathroom. It's all about finding ways to connect with God in spite of having a busy schedule. So as a Christian, I have long known the importance of spending time talking to God and reading his word. As a mom, I know how hard it can be to work that time in. It can be challenging to even have a minute to complete a thought or a sentence without interruption, let alone have enough quiet time for prayer and devotions. But I found a couple ways that work for me and they revolve around the bathroom. I know that sounds weird, but bear with me because this has worked for me for many years. Even before I had children, way back in high school um, is when some of this started. So one of the challenges for my prayer time is distractions. I have to work to keep my mind focused during prayer because it's so easy for my mind to wander and get off on a tangent and start thinking about other things rather than continuing to pray. So if I hear people talking or something is going on elsewhere, I can get easily distracted from praying more so than when I'm doing other tasks. It just happens. But when I'm in the shower, I can't hear anything except for the water. So for years, my best prayer time has been in the shower. I mean, half the time I'm in there, my eyes are closed anyway to avoid getting shampoo in them because nobody wants that. So it works. Um, I've also found that when I'm getting ready for the day nowadays, I'm usually alone. That hasn't always been true. Like when my children were younger, they a lot of times would be with me as I was putting on makeup or doing my hair or whatever. But now I either get ready before I wake them up for school or after they leave. And then on the weekends or school breaks when they're home, they still leave me alone when I'm putting on my contacts and putting on my makeup and all that stuff. They're now old enough to realize it's boring and they can find something else to do that's way more fun than watching mom put on makeup. So I can also use that time for prayer, even if it's just a quick rundown of a prayer for my husband, my children, and myself just for the day that we have a good day and to get us through the day and give us strength and protection and all of those things. But prayer isn't the only thing that I need time for. I also need time to read my Bible. In our new house, reading my Bible most often happens in the bathroom. Previously, it's either been in my bedroom or even for a short time at my kitchen table. Um, uh, actually, another short time, I even read it at my desk in the office. But another time that I can't hear anything else going on is when I'm drying my hair. And it takes me probably at least 10 minutes to dry my hair. I have to dry it on low with a diffuser because it's curly. If not, it gets shoop, like crazy. Um, so I find somewhere to sit while I dry my hair because it takes a little bit of time. I can't let it air dry because I put products in it and it would take like hours and I'm in the Midwest and I would freeze and it wouldn't be good. So I sit down to dry my hair and in my, our new house, we have a long vanity in the bathroom. So I have a stool at it where I can sit to put on makeup and dry my hair. And that's where I sit now. So during that time that I'm drying my hair, I read my devotion book and related verses. In fact, I usually have enough time to go through two different devotion books. I have one that I get from my church and the one that I uh, that I use regularly. It comes out every quarter. And then one that I used and loved in 2008 is called Daily Moments of Peace and Inspiration for Women. Um, actually, I have it right here. Looks like this. It's even purple, which I love as well. In 2017, I read through and liked pretty well Sarah Young's Jesus Calling. And for this coming year, for 2019, my daughter and I, for the first time, are reading a devotion book together. It will be Max Licato's Grace for the Moment. I'm doing the adult version and she's doing the kids version um, that line up each day. And so I'm looking forward to that. So in order to do that, and the best way that I've found to do that to keep myself organized, is that I keep my Bible and devotion books in a bin along with my hair dryer. It looks like this. So you can see in here is my hair dryer my devotion book, my favorite purple Bible, which also has the additional devotion book in it from church, it's like in the middle, I've stuck it in there. And then um, this is another paper that I'm gonna tell you about in a minute too. So I have my bin and that's where I put everything all together. I keep it in my bathroom closet and when it's time to dry my hair, I pull it out and use it. So I keep in there my devotion books, my Bible. Um, right now I have an extra prayer list from my Sunday school class. And so if I have things like that, I put them in there too. So they're all together. I can just open the closet door, pull out my bin, and I'm ready to dry my hair and read my Bible. 
This is also when I utilize my favorite prayer app. It sounds odd to use an app for prayer, but I really like PrayerMate. It's been a great way for me to organize prayers and requests from friends and loved ones. I use it regular, regularly to pray more in depth for some things I pray for all the time. And then also to remind me to pray for other requests that I might otherwise forget. While the bathroom sounds like a weird place to get spiritual, it works for me. I've been praying in the shower and reading my Bible while drying my hair since high school. And when I became a mom, it worked for me even more because my time is so much more limited these days. So I'd love to hear from you. Do you have a tip for how you work in prayer and Bible reading time in spite of a busy schedule? Please share. I would love to hear what other ideas that you have and how you make it work for you. Thank you so much.